Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm here with Zuri. Greetings. And uh, today we're going over a pretty uh, neat little production facility here uh, submitted by Medic5700. Uh, this produces everything from, uh, well, every type of inserter, every type of belt and splitter and underground and the three types of assembling machines. Uh, but it has quite a bit of uh, smarts going on here, which... Uh, makes it makes it pretty interesting. Well, I wouldn't say every inserter. I don't see uh, burner inserters. Ah, good catch. <laughs> I guess I figured you uh, you don't really need those at this point, but you probably would, so it wouldn't hurt maybe to throw them in here somewhere. But uh, yeah, so essentially, it it took us a little while to figure this out. Um, Looking through here, uh, you'll see a lot of green lights, and uh, these guys pretty much indicate that uh, that their stock is full, that they finished. You'll see the ones off have the green lights, and the ones still working uh, do not have green lights. Um, so that kind of indicates, you know, we're good, we're fine, we're full. Um, and it makes every material except the base materials here. So you just input iron and circuits and red circuits, and then it makes everything else within itself. Don't forget the heavy oil. Heavy oil as well. <laughs> I did forget that. Um, so it also makes the lube for the uh, belts, and the higher level belts from the heavy oil. And uh, now I'll let you, Zuri, go over some of the smarts in terms of like controlling how much stuff it makes and anything else you want to mention with these. Sure. You can control the uh, overall scale of it up here. This is the stock multiplier is the Z signal. So you change that to, you know, 1, 2, 3, 20, whatever. And this display will tell you what that number is. Mm -hmm. And it detects a lot of stuff, including incoming and your current, um, what you have in the boxes. So by each machine, you'll see a constant combinator. And that's what you're multiplying by Z to get your desired amount. You basically take Z times the constant combinator, and since Z is a negative number, or way up top, the Z was multiplied by negative one. And you just go until it's equal to zero, which yep. is the, the supply you have plus Z times the, uh, the amount for each. So you can change your multiplier for each item. Right. Yeah. We, we were discussing earlier, you might want a lot more blue belts than, let's say, assemblers. Because typically you'll need a lot more assemblers. Or, uh, sorry, a lot more belts than assemblers and more inserters than assemblers as well. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, you just go into your combinator, you set kind of a base amount you want, um, or a multiplier amount, and then the, the Z is uh, where you do it. So we have Z set to 2, um, and just to actually show you an example you'll notice like assembler threes are set to four here so it's actually now holding eight because again eight times four is or two times four is eight and then uh you know all the belt numbers times two is what we have there so uh, you could obviously change the constant combinators uh and then also just change the z multiplier as well to whatever multiplier of that you want i'll change the 10 real quick so we can see this thing kick on and eat all the iron <laughs> Yeah, that uh, that was one complaint that that we had is uh, it only has one red belt of iron for the entire thing. Which, if this were fully like running, if you'd set this to something quite high, um, it'll just absolutely devour the iron. I'm also concerned that the it looks like it was supposed to be wired up to the pumps to control the fluid input, so it doesn't soak up all your oil. But it's not. The, I I don't see any wires on the pumps at all. Yeah, which is a bit odd. We don't know if it was just an oversight or for some reason intentional, but the way it is, it, it'll just completely fill up this heavy oil tank and then even the loop tank if you give it long enough, um, which seems like a bit much. I mean, they have all this other like really intense smarts here. You would think uh, you would probably want to hook the pumps in somewhere as well. Yeah, I just assume it's a mistake. But uh, I think that pretty much covers it. It looks like a lot, and I mean, it is like, <laughs> I was so lost when I first looked at it, but a lot of it um, 
if you grab this blueprint, which in the description is always, uh, really the only things you need to mess with are just the constant combinators for each type of item and then the uh, Z thing up at the top. Just change that to whatever multiplier you want. Um, and uh, the rest of it should work pretty good. But as you can see, um, it's majorly lacking gears and even some iron once in a while. So if you do give this a high demand, it'll just take quite a while to kind of chug along because uh, no way will everything run simultaneously. But, uh, but yeah, I think that does it. Do you have any other thoughts for this, Zuri? Nope. Other than it's a local constraint build. It doesn't go off of total uh, logistic. So this can provide a logistic system, but it doesn't keep track of what total logistics is, just local. Mm, that's a very good point, yeah. So uh, even though it would be potentially in your network because it, you know, it is putting into past providers and stuff, um, you do want to keep that in mind, that it doesn't keep track of anything else in your network. And that's about it, I think. All right, that'll do it. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts, comments, questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, link again for the blueprint in the description. And uh, until next time, we will catch you later. Later.